In this video, I'm gonna be rebuilding this little 3.3 .3 horsepower Mercury, which is also the same block as the 2.5 horsepower Mercury and the 3.5 horsepower Tahatsu. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna be rebuilding one of these things, uh, you'll probably be able to hopefully get something out of this video. Um, and if not, it's a very simple motor and you wanna see what's inside one of these little guys, um, you'll be able to see. Um, I'm not going to video the tear down and all that sort of stuff of the motor the video would be too long. Uh, I'm gonna jump straight into honing the block. So, so I'm gonna give this uh, little block a hone. This is just actually some diesel. Awesome. In the bore is this crisscross pattern the whole way around. I've still got a few, like a little bit of a line up there. Um, very, very small, but I think that'll be fine. Just going to um, sand the end of this flat. That's the head from the 3.3 .3 horsepower. So I've got a thick piece of um, aluminium. It's probably uh, half an inch thick or 13 mil or something like that and a piece of sandpaper on there uh, I just really want to get that flat so I just yeah, rub it on that flat surface you can start to see yeah, flattening out the high spots I've just degreased the whole block here and the, um, the head so here I have a new ring for this 3.3 .3 horsepower Mercury. You'll notice this says Tahatsu. Um, that's because this 3.3 .3 horsepower Mercury is a built by Tahatsu. It's a 3.5 horsepower Tahatsu. So anyway, we'll get this ring out and place it in. I'm gonna check this gap at the end. Make sure it's not too tight. And that's just sat inside. Here's the piston. I'll just push it down inside a tiny bit, make sure it's flat. And I have a feeler gauge here. So I'm just checking that end gap. At the moment, that's 0.2 mil. Um, that's about the minimum you'd want and that's fitting through so this one is 0 0.305 millimeters and that is just touching each side of that ring gap so that's fine so when the motor runs this obviously expands and you don't want this little gap in here to touch and then for this ring to sort of expand and get locked in there. It's only tiny, isn't it? But anyway, you don't want to get locked in there and seize your motor. Another thing you'll notice with this um, ring groove in this piston is there's a tiny little locating pin at the top there. And I'll show you on the ring. They have, yeah, a little section for that. So you've got to make sure you put it in the right way up so that those notches basically sit around around that pin locating pin like that so obviously when that's in the piston bore those will close up and be pretty close around that little locating pin so i've just put um your two stroke oil around that ring inside the bore on all my bearings so yeah this one just pushes in from the back and there's a little um, chamfer on the bore, which helps the ring just sort of pop in. So just wiggle it and it should pop in. There we go. Too easy. And these, um, these bearings have a pin which sit in these grooves. You to make sure that they're not 
underneath here somewhere or yeah because you're going to really wreck your motor so i noticed um as i was putting this back together there's actually a retaining piece which holds this uh top bearing down it's basically yeah uh, you can see there's a slot in the aluminium here and there's like a u-shaped it's on a lot of the tahatsus um and there's one underneath as well so basically holds holds that assembly where it is and doesn't let this bearing slip down or this one slip up and yeah, it just keeps the assembly all in position this motor was missing those so um i was very lucky that i have a few spare ones um here's a, parts of a seized motor but the um yeah the retaining parts here were fine so yeah gonna reuse those in this um i've got my new seals to go in now basically got seal bearing retainer bearing assembly you know and the bottom seal so the bottom seals just basically got one looks like one seal this one has a set of opposing seals in it um so now i will use my um yeah sealant flange sealant around this edge here and then i'll be putting the crankcase half back on Also, these are the reed valves in here. So they, yeah, you can test that. You should be able to blow one way <coughs> and not suck. So yeah, they basically just let air into the crankcase and uh, not back out. <clears throat> That's what this stuff looks like. Just a very, very thin layer of um, crankcase sealant. This has locating pins. So that'll sit exactly where it needs to. Cool. Yeah. So I've just just gently nipped all those down. They're not tight at all. And I'm just going to make sure I'm happy with where these uh, seals are sitting. Make sure they're not twisted, bottom or top. So yeah, they're, they're sitting very square to where they should be sitting. Very good. So I'll just tighten them by hand now. Pull those crankcase halves together. See, we've already got some of that um, crankcase sealant starting to just smush out the side, which is good. And now I'll set up the um, torque wrench. So I know that these have to be um, about 6.5 foot pounds, um, which is roughly 78 inch pounds. So I will start at about 35 um, and when you're tightening up a head or a front of a crankcase um, you want to start close to the center and do circles from the center outwards so if I was to start at this one I'd go one two three four five six one two three four five six so working in circles ever ever so slightly getting bigger each time when this clicks, that's to talk. Yeah, so they're all now 55 inch pounds. Yeah, 55, 70, 78, and that will do. And you can see just that little bit of crankcase sealant just smushing out the edges. 
right the way around. So that's good. Awesome. Chuck the flywheel on at this point and make sure it turns over freely. Tahatsu head gasket. You don't need to see it put sealant on this. Um, you can see it's already got, well you can feel it too, some sort of sealant on there. Um, so that just yeah, make sure that's clean. That goes on the right way around. Head goes on. Put the bolts in. I've put a little bit of grease on these ones. Right, so this is under the motor. And I've got to put this guy back on. And I've got a gasket there. That's firm. All right, can I whack the coil back in? What a simple little motor, it's awesome. All right, so I'll whack the flywheel back in now and then I reckon I'm ready to mount this power head onto the leg and I'll do the carby, um, yeah, off the motor. It's very easy to get to um, off the motor. So anyway, cool. All right, so here's the test to see if the new ring seals and everything's gonna have worked out. Um, so we'll open the breather, turn the fuel on, it was already on. Um, got a new kill lanyard for it. Done that earth, I'm just letting the fuel run into the carby. Um, put the choke on, put it up to start. All right, moment of truth. 